Jasmine, come. Where is the chef? Chef, chef is chief. You mean chief, your father? Sorry. The girl that cooks. Okay, <laughs> chef, chief. Okay, uh, you mean then no? She went out. She went to buy some stuffs in the market. Please, moment she comes back, tell her to come and see me immediately. Look, all right. Now. And please don't forget. No, I won't forget. Yeah. I hope anyone have not committed anything. Jeff, 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 Jeff. My daughter loves you a lot. Okay. And she's threatening to fly back to UK because you are not reciprocating her advances on you. I promised to get you for her. Benjamin, it might interest you to know that her staying back in this country is tied down to me, getting you for her. Man, so I know you might have a woman in your life. I'm aware, but I want you to know that life is about sacrifices. I know what I sacrifice to make you who you are. I mean, I took plenty of risks to make you who you are. Then I will be a very happy man to know that I will be with my wealth to a capable son-in-law's hand. Please, Ben, don't say no to me. Chief, I, I have heard everything that you have said, but the thing is, I... You, you, you don't, I don't want a rush of an answer. Go on. Come down over it. I mean, the advantages. Confide in your friends. Yes. Come back here in two days. Same time here. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I can go now. Yeah, you're free. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want the money? Yes, sir. You want the money? Yes, sir. From the look of things, you want the money, my daughter? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a businessman or politician? If you're a civil servant, then sorry, impossible. I wish you good luck and by the way. You have to drop something. Drop something. You must drop something. For love and romancing. You have to drop something. Kissing and hugging. You must drop something. You know why? To push a woman and a money no story story. It is not by force, make sure it is from your heart. Anything I get, I Man. So I know you might have a woman in your life. I'm aware. But I want you to know that life is about sacrifices. I know what I sacrifice to make you who you are. I mean, I took plenty of risks to make you who you are. Then I will be a very happy man to know that I will be with my wealth 
to a capable son-in-law's hand. Please, Ben, don't say no to me. You want to marry my daughter, yes sir. Oh yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live a private businessman or a politician? If you're a civil servant, sorry, in the second, I wish you good luck and by the way, you have to Ma, I always think she will be for me. Yeah, have a seat. <laughs> Um, I saw what happened earlier in the day. I can't put it together. Like what gave you the guts that I married to the audacity to speak to me the way you spoke to me. How did you get to that point? How? Please, no, don't say it that way. I see you as my elder sister. I've served your father for many months. I can't even count, but... I see myself as a family and no longer a hired servant. Interesting. Shizma, I'm sorry if my word made you angry. But I can't see my other sister do something bad and I will not caution her. My conscience will judge me. Well. Look at your father's house. You have everything you need here. Why do you want to ruin your own beautiful life with your own hands? Apart from being a taboo, smoking and drinking is very bad to your health. See, it's not as if I'm advising you, but I'm just telling you something that is right. I'm sorry for going far. Um, <laughs> no, no, nobody has ever spoken to me this way. Not even my father. Do you know why? Because everybody sees you as an adult. So they think you know everything. You know the good and you know the bad. But it's not always the truth. We learn every day from our mistakes and mistakes of people around us. I'm sorry if I've said something wrong. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. Can I give you a hug? Sure. Do something with this one. Suspense. Do you know that Benjamin has not called me till now? Since morning. <laughs> and it's already evening, he has not called. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which one is Indo? <laughs> Benjamin calls me in the morning by nine before he leaves for work. He calls me in the afternoon while he's at work. And in the evening again while he has closed for the day. So I'm surprised though. Oluchi, will your phone catch fire if you die Benjamin's line? Like, will it catch fire? Tell me. Hmm? Yes. Chinasa, don't you know? <laughs> what? So you don't know that it's the duty of a man to call his fiancée, not the other way around? Forget that thing. It's a lie. It's a lie, Oluchi. It is the duty of both parties to call each other on the phone. Marriage is a two-way thing. Look at you. Are you not being selfish? Your man has not called you since morning. And you are here talking nonsense. You will not call him to know what is wrong, right? Please, bring your phone. Bring your phone! I have pride, I can't. You have pride? You will lose that man, though. <laughs> you will lose that man. Bring your phone and call him now. Why are you doing this? You want to lose him, right? Okay. 
Oh, oh, oh my man. What can yeah, Okute, just hold it there. Keep your healing to yourself. Okute, keep your healing to yourself. I heard everything you said about my daughter and her husband. You heard what? Ah, uh, so Maruka has now turned to a terbiara. I mean, a very simple discussion among friends. So why should it be a problem? So, Okute, of all the topics for discussion, you chose my daughter and her husband up here, and you want me to clap for you? Eh? No, no more. Me and I didn't even attend the wedding. You left Maruka. Who told me that food and drinks finish halfway to come and attack me? Eh? Hey, Okonkwa, can't you again? What color is your problem? Yeah, Okute, just don't defend yourself. Eh? Don't defend yourself. I heard everything. I heard everything. But what I'm telling you is that we are all eagerly waiting to see that billionaire that will marry your daughter. All eyes are on your daughter. We shall see that royal wedding that will take place in your compound. And with my own father. Yeah. This place will be a shutdown. No going out, no going in. That's what you are going to see. My friends will fly in with private jet. They are Indians, Chinese. They will attend. No, you, you won't even be there. Oh, John, no. Leave it for us. You won't Leave it for us. Leave it for us. Go and get your own son in law. Okay. Go and get your own son in law. Oh, John, we're watching. Oh, John, we're watching. Oh, John, go and get your own son in law. Oh, John, we're watching. 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 From the look of things you want to marry my daughter, yes sir. Oh yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a businessman or politician? If you're a civil servant, then sorry, impossible. I wish you good luck and by the way, you have to drop something. Drop something. You must drop something. For love and romancing. You have to drop something. Kissing and hugging. You must drop something. Show a man and a money no story story You have to drop something uh -huh. That's right To push a woman and a money no later after You must to drop something I turn a turn on a witch I turn a turn on a witch It is not by force Make sure it is from your heart Anything I get I will appreciate Make it something good Something very good If you want to show love her it is important to you have to drop something. Don't to forget you must drop something. For love and romancing, you have to drop something. Kissing and hugging, you must drop something. Don't push a woman and a money to story story. You have to drop something. Drop something. Don't push a woman and a money to let her Now, I, I did not ask him to come and meet me. Oh, he's the one that came. I did not ask anybody to come and, uh, uh, meet me. Now, see, now he, he's no longer picking his call. This kind of things I don't used to like. Oh, I don't, I don't used to like all this kind of thing.
See, that's not the reason you should miss market. Do you know how many customers that came looking for you? <laughs> you don't understand what I've been through this past week. It's been hell. Ben, you a man. Uh, the man has not yet forced you to marry his daughter. He doesn't even have such right to say that. See, if you look into yourself and uh, discover you love Oluchi so much and you value her more than Chifu Mace world, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell and tell him no? Huh? It will not be that easy. So tell me, what is difficult there? What is difficult? Telling Chief, okay, let him see reasons you can leave Oluchi. Yes, now. The worst he can do is to cut the business relationship uh, he, he has with you. And that is the problem. That is my fear. I do not have any other person that supplies me goods on credit. And I do not have that kind of capital to sustain my business if I lose Chifume's credit fund always. I, I can't. Ben, see, it comes to a point in life when a man will be left with no other option than to face his fears. Yes. As long as Oluchi is worth it. See, Gente, one thing I wouldn't want you to, to do is to marry out of sentiment. Okay, Togo. You have to follow your heart, bro. You understand? You have to follow your heart. Is <laughs> He did not. I called him all through the night. He did not pick my call. He did not even call back. Now this is getting serious. This is very serious now. You see what I was telling you? I was on my own. I was on my own. I did not ask anybody to come and fall in love with me. I was on my own. He came to come and propose to me. And now that I'm falling for him, now he's not only with my fragile heart. And you know that my heart is very soft. My heart is very soft. Calm down. Calm down. Just calm down, okay? Let's wait till the, till the end of today. If he doesn't call, and his phone is still not connecting, then you can call him, okay? For now, just send him a text. I should do what? Send, you send text. him a text. Somebody I called all through the night, he did not pick, I should come and send him text. I should come and send him text. He's telling with my heart, I should send him text. I'm not sending any rubbish text. When he knows that my heart is very soft, he knows I have a fragile heart, he's misbehaving with my heart, totally with my heart, there's no problem. Oh, no, Take it easy. See, let me tell you, my heart is telling me to send the text message, but I will not send it. <laughs> Just send him a text, please. Send him a text, why you feel like this? Yes. No mind you, Mao. Who love helps save? And you know, saying that the survival of the smartest now will be like this. This is a very big opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. You don't just let this kind of opportunity to pass you by. You just you don't have to do something about it, though. Beajo, just listen to yourself. So you want Ben to leave all of you in December and marry the white Sharon Nesari Bunagari because of her father's wealth? Is, is that what you want him to do? Do I need to tell you what to do? Okay, look, I clear you now. Hmm? See, what you need to do is just grab the money. Grab the money. You can relate with your, with your real wife, only to later. Then your relationship will be very good. What you need to do again, you rush this girl, you marry her, you get the certificate for her. Then you can even tell her to go out, to go back to abroad while you stay here. And you know, Chief will be very happy with you. Look at, look at, look at the nonsense that is coming up from your mouth. So this is what you want him to do, huh? Okay, fine. Aloba, make I ask you. If I know they make sense, I'm gonna ask you. If he says no to Chief, and Chief finally stops sending him goods, or even push him out from the shop, because he knows him as Chief, they pay for that shop. And if Ben finally enters street with no money, see, this is what we are talking about. How can it last without money? See, you need that money to even make this your love, to even last. Are you reason a woman? Hmm. No. Um, uh, 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 ben, see, don't mind him. Or if on honor just now, query. 
If you look at him, Mega Man who's a Hebrew, Mishin in New York, he's not making any sense. You understand? So don't even listen to him. Don't listen to him. If you want, you allow him to let you lose this golden opportunity. It's up to you. It's up to you. This one really enter. The pain be like fire. I don't believe what in my eye they see. How they really go do me so? I don't think I'm think I'm I no understand. I'm the love with the sweet. How she go comes katana. He de pen he die. This love with the love with the love with the. I don't believe say go do me so. Upon a life so far. What's that? 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 See, for the past two days that I've, I've noticed that something is eating you up. Hey, why don't you open up and tell me what that thing is? If you don't tell me, who will you tell? Huh? Mama, it's Benjamin. Your husband? Yes. What about him? Mama, he has not come to see me for some days now. He, he does not even take his calls when I call him and he has not even called me. Did you quarrel with him? No, I did not quarrel with him. We were all good. All of a sudden, he just changed. He changed. So what do you want to do now? My mind is telling me that that he does not want to continue with the marriage plans anymore and he does not know how to tell me. That's what my mind is telling me. Please, I, I, I don't I don't want you to worry yourself over this. Okay, let's just say something is keeping me. And if eventually nothing is keeping him and he just wants to break up with you, it's okay. Let him be. If I mean if he doesn't want you anymore. You won't kill yourself over somebody who said he doesn't want you. If he doesn't want you, another man will come in due time. Eh? If one door closes, another will open. <laughs> You're about to take the hardest decision of your life today. It hurts though, but you have to consider your feelings, your safety, your well-being first before considering the feelings of others.
sir. Oh, <laughs> good evening, Ben. Nice to see you. Pleasure, so mine. I know you've had a very long period to think about our last discussion. Yes, sir. So, my ears are waiting <laughs> to hear you answer. First of all, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much for considering me a worthy son-in-law. And um, I also like to say that um, in as much as I understand your predicament, I also understand that marriage is something to be taken seriously. This is something about two people from two different backgrounds coming together to stay under a common ground. It is to be taken seriously. You know, choosing a wife is a Herculean task that awaits any man. And if by any reason he misses it, he will ruin his entire life. So I, um, I want to say that uh, Oluchi, who is my girlfriend and fiance, I love her. I love her so much and I cannot I cannot watch her die in pain because of me. That girl is such a good girl. She is well cultured, respectful, kind, well trained and God fearing. Most importantly, she is the kind of a woman I would reason with. And Chief, honestly, if I were your son, you would never forgive me if I should choose a smoker and a drunkard against such a reasonable girl. Shut up! Shut up, Benjamin! I, 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 are you insane? No, sir. Benjamin! What gave you a fondry to, 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 to call my daughter names before me? Get out, Chief. I didn't mean to. Ben, it was just get out, Chief. Chief, just, this is get not... out of my car this minute. All right, sir. Um, I'm sorry. Please don't. I, I didn't intend. Get out of my vehicle now. Okay. Um. Chief, shut my door. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Rubbish. Benjamin. Benjamin, you've chosen to bite the finger that feed you. Yes, sir. From the look of things, you want to marry my daughter. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your chief or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a business? If you're a civil servant, then sorry, impossible. I wish you good luck and by the way. You have to drop something. Drop something. You must to drop something. For love and romancing. You have to drop something. Kissing and hugging. You must to drop something. You know why? Shabba shabba.
Benjamin, after everything I did for you, this is how you want to pay me back. <laughs> I hope you will live to tell this story to your children. Daddy, how did it go? I think you need to speak now because you know what's going on. You have to put me in the mood. My daughter, you can fly back to UK. <laughs> if that is the only thing that will make you happy. I mean, I didn't expect anything less than that. It was just a game of chance. I can't figure it out. Why does he hate me this much? And I can't figure out why he hates me. Hate you? Yes, Daddy. He does. Why? Because he feels I'm not responsible. I might come from a responsible home, but I am not a responsible child. That's the angle he is coming from. That's what I think. I mean, in this part of the world, I can understand they don't like girls that smoke and drink. I totally understand. In the UK, I did this because of the weather, stress. I mean, come on, Dad. But you have never told me. You have never advised me. You have never spoken against it. But I got that information from my sister. Emma told me that. Father, honestly, I don't know where to place this right now, but I think you have failed me. Yes. Or maybe I feel myself I can put it together. shop and I was told you didn't open today. I am sorry. I am so sorry for keeping you in the dark. It was a tough decision to make but I am here now for you, for us. I miss you so much. I miss you more. <laughs> I was so confused. I didn't know what to do. I thought of quitting this marriage. 
and marrying Chief's daughter. But the more I think of quitting, the more I fall in love with you. And then I made up my mind against all odds to choose you, to stay where my heart lies, even if it means falling out with Chief. He's not my God. When one door closes, another door opens, definitely. Exactly, my love. I, I don't know what I would have done without you. Like, a part of you lives in my heart. I, this past three days has been hell for me. I could not even go to my show. I could not concentrate any longer. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for all, all that I made you go through. Please forgive me. It's okay. They are all in the past now. I love you. I truly love you. I can't trade you for anything. Not for all the riches in the world. I, I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for choosing me. And I will choose you over and over again. <laughs> Maka, what is it? I told you that. What? Police? Me. Stole. Stole what one? See, Abaka, Abaka, listen to me. Go and call Chim and call and call uh, Uche. Let them stay with you. Those people should not take anything from that shop. I am coming. Go. Hello there. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I can just call me now and she was telling me that some police then arrived the shop with three vans. I, I, mean, I don't know what they're talking about. They said I stole something. Don't, don't, don't worry yourself. I'm going to the shop now. I will solve whatever the problem is. You just take care of yourself, okay? I love you. I'll, oh no, I'll call you. Let me just sort things out. All right. Ah, it's your satisfaction. Chief framing up. Some men of DSS came all the way from Abuja, locked up his shop, collected his car keys, and they took him away with them. Jesus. Jesus. I said, why are they arresting him now? What was his crime? Gave for mercy. I don't know. I don't know. But I heard um, a hijack of goods, stolen goods. What? Over 300 million. Chief is at war. You see, you see why I was saying before he should take that decision that he should think about it first of all. See where it has landed him. See? Hi. This is pure wickedness. This is pure wickedness. I mean, why would she do a thing like that? Eh? Is marriage by force? Don't you know? See, why they were taking him away? They collected all his phones. 
So he said, I should tell you to find a way to reach Oluchi, his fiancée, and explain to her what happened. Because she will be worried if she tried to get him on phone. Um, so how do we begin to go about this? If I get messed now, what do we do now? I think what we need to do first is you find a way to get to his fancy first. Then we will hire a lawyer and plan on how we are going to go to Abuja and visit the DSS office. You are right. Joe, you are right. I said it. I said it. I keep doing this thing. Okay. You want the man? Yes. Oh, 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 I I know you very well, but I'm sure you don't know me. Uh, I don't know you, sir. Yes, my name is Chima, Benjamin's friend. Hey? You say Benjamin's friend? Yes. Please, sir, how is he doing? Where is he? What happened? Eh? What, what, what happened, please? Where is he? I've been so worried. This line is not going through. See, that's why I'm here. You see, he said I should tell you that he was arrested and taken to Abuja. Hey! You see, they seize these phones and that's why you're not able to reach him. Yeah. Even me, I've been trying his lines. That's she, connecting. Chimo, hey, he told me that policeman came to his shop. Oh. Then the next thing, I couldn't get in contact with him again. His number was not going through. Hey, um, sir, what happened? What did he do? See, Just uh, what, what happened? Why, why did they arrest him? You have to calm down, okay? Well, I'm down Put already, sir. Together. I'm, I, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Sir, what did he do? That, what happened? To me, I, I am not sure he did anything. Okay. But someone very close to him is just trying to set him up. Yes. But God passed them. So, Chifume? Chifume? Oh, he already told you the story, right? Yeah. <laughs> what can we do? How can we, what, what are we going to do to get him out of there? Well, you see, I from here now I'll be going to meet our lawyer. Okay. So the lawyer will now tell me what next to do. <laughs> Don't stop crying now. I, I, I just came to give you an information, okay? Oh, please, um, sir, please, um, please, can you put your number here so that I can I can communicate with you? I'm not the way sure. forward in case of anything. Sure, right. Uh, please, did they put him in cell? I just told you, I don't even know. Hey, did he eat? Did he eat before they arrest him? Are they giving him food today? Please, just put yourself together, okay? Uh, I'll just I'll just do everything possible to make sure he, he get released, okay? Okay? Yeah, that's my number. Okay. But the way he was rushing when he was talking to me on the phone, I, 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 I did not have rest again. I couldn't rest, so I had to call him an hour later. Only for me to call his number, his number was switched off. I was even panicking. He said, ah, why? Not until this evening, mm. when Chima, his friend, came to my shop to tell me what happened. Hey! Chima again. Oh, what? Are you sure he didn't steal them for me? Mama. Eh, no, it's just that uh, eh, I, I, I want you to be very sure because you don't need to trust anybody. Mama, Benjamin cannot do such a thing. I know him too well. He cannot even want a fly. I can vouch for him. Eh, bam, 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 bam. You don't vouch for anybody. Because we don't vouch for, for anybody these days. Mama, we know the person behind the arrest. It is his ogre, And it's because he refused to marry his ogre's daughter. Hey! Jalu. Did you say his boss? Yes. Did you... His boss got him arrested because he, 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 he wants him to leave you and marry his daughter. I'm telling you the truth, Mama. His ah. boss arrested him. To my surprise, Benjamin said he refused. He told him that he cannot marry his daughter. And the boss was very angry. He now vows that he's going to deal with Benjamin. Hey! 
So this is what happened. Tell me, I don't even know what to do. This arrest now. I don't even Hey! Bam 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 bam. This is too much. Hey. So he now wants Benjamin to leave you and marry his daughter. So because of that, he got him arrested. Hey, man, this is too much. <laughs> How can? Hello? Hello, who is there? Who is there now? Let me talk to somebody. Why are you people keeping me here? Why are you keeping me here? What have I done now? This is, this is injustice. This is injustice. Why are you going to be keeping me here? You don't allow me access to call. You don't want me to, to, to contact anybody and let them know where I am. This is not fair now. I am not a criminal. Stop treating me like a criminal. I need to call everybody. I need to let them know that I, I am in some kind of trouble. I need to let them know I don't even know where I am. You talk about me stealing goods from chief. I do not steal. I have never stolen anything from anyone. Ever. All the papers, all the receipts, all the transaction documents I made with Chief, I have them. I have all the evidence in my phone. Hello? What is all this now? Is it bad for someone to be in this country without a son? Eh? Is it because I don't have anybody? What is this now? You know, should let me in go. Let me out of this place. Hello? Hello? Yes, you want the man, 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 yes, you you I'm telling you. See, my lawyer became frustrated. Uh, we ended up spending money, wasting time for nothing. So, who are those men? That, that that came to arrest him. That's the problem. How am I supposed to know? Come. You see why we need to come out in mass and vote out all these wicked, evil men in the seat of authority. Yes, that is to vote in a competent leader, someone that has the interest of the masses at heart. That was why I was telling Benjamin to accept the offer. I you know why I was telling him to do it at that time. This country is a mess. If you don't have money in this country, you are doomed. You're on your own. Okay, now, uh, where do we start from? How do we start looking for him? And you see, Joe, from the look of things, uh, I think he was kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yes. No, no, it's not possible now. How can you say kidnapped with government official uniform and vehicles? And now, what's up, no? It is possible now. It is possible. What kind of thing is this? Eh? Where do we start looking for this? They've not been able to locate the guys and make the arrest. Five days. Yes. She has a five. Good days. Oh, my Benjamin's whereabout is unknown. And his phones are still off. Sometimes it rings. Oh, and the next thing, the phone is switched off. Oh my God. This is wickedness in high places. Oh, see. Sometimes, some men just think that they are good. <laughs> they think because they have money, they can do anything and go scot-free without nothing happening to them. But I thank God. I thank God that there is a God in heaven that oversees the affairs of men. They will be the world to judge. Well, I think the best thing we should do right now is just to pray for him. Because it will take a miracle for him to be free from whatever it is that is holding him. God, Jesus. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I am no longer God. Father, you, you no longer 
longer the king of the universe, the maker of heaven and earth, the creator of all things. Father, is this how I am going to remain here and perish? Father, will you allow the continuous evil of the wicked one to prevail over the poor? Just because they have no one to speak for them. <sighs> Father, that is not who you are. And you know I do not offend anybody. I deal diligently in my business. And I pay attention to you. Father, I have been here. I have been brought here unjustly. Will you allow the continuous work of the evil ones to prevail over your children? You will not allow me to die here. I will not die here. And if not for anything, at least for the sake of the young girl that I engaged, let me just go and see her. I know that she's suffering. I know that she can't rest because she she don't know where I am. She don't know if I am even doing all right, which I am not, Father. Father, please, if not for anything, at least just for her sake, let me, her. let me just go and see her. She doesn't deserve this. Father, when will you arise so that the works of the wicked will, will, will crumble and scatter? Father, you will not allow me to perish and you will not. You will help me. Because I am your child, you will help me. <laughs> I don't understand. Can someone explain to me what just happened now? Ask your father. Ask your father. I was telling him, but he didn't listen to me. Ask him. Papa, who was that woman and why did you ask me to come and see her? Smell it. Smell it. Money smells good. Money is life. Life is money. Papa, you have not said anything, no. You have not said anything. Tell yourself the truth. Have you held 100,000 naira in your hand since you were born? Just for introduction. No, not introduction. Just bum, bum, bum. who is there? What will finally happen when, they, when you accept? Papa, see, if you're not ready to talk, I will just go back to my shop because I was very busy when you called me. Uh, okay. Uh, that lady you saw, her name is Stainless Lady. She's the wife of the late billionaire Iwanyamu B L O C. Uh huh. Their son, who is in America, who is doing very well, uh, wants to marry. So they want to marry for him. Uh, somebody directed them here. That will have a, the best product.